Welcome to today's Node tutorials. In this video, we will be exploring the concept of complete group node and how they can be used effectively. So let's dive right in. Here we have a node red flow with a group node called complete group nodes. In node red allow you to organize and encapsulate related nodes, making your flow easier to manage. Let's take a closer look at the nodes inside the complete group. The first one is the inject integer node. This node allows you to inject a specific value into the flow. In this case, it's injecting the integer 5 into the flow wherever triggered. The output of the inject integer node is connecting to a debug node. The debug node simply displays the payload it receives in the debug console. Let's take a closer look at the complete nodes configuration by specifying the scope parameters as the id of the inject integer node we are instructing the complete node to monitor that particular node for completion now that's we understand the setup let's see it in action i will trigger the inject integer node by clicking on it as you can see the debug node displays the payload value which is 5 the complete signal from the inject integer node is also sent to the complete node. The complete node then triggers the second debug node indicating that the specified branch has been completed successfully. And there you have it. The complete group node in the node red provide a way to track the completion of specific branches in your flow. This can be helpful when you need to synchronize different part of your flow or trigger actions based on completion event. Second flow I am going to explain about link in and link out node. So here the link out node acts as an output point for the, our injected value. It serves as a connection point for other flows or ex external systems to receive the data we injected. Think of it as a gateway for information to flow out of our node red flow. Now let's move on to the link in node. This node represents the entry point for data coming from other flows or external systems. It provides a way for us to receive data and pass it along to other nodes within our flow. So lastly, we have the debug node. This node is incredibly useful for troubleshooting and understanding the data flowing through our flow. It allows us to inspect the content of messages and view them in the debug. So now that we have explored each node individually, let's see how they work together. When we inject the value of 5 using the inject node, it is passed to the link out node. This node acts as a bridge and sends the value to any other flows or external system that are connected to it. In our case, we have the link in node connected to the debug node. So when the inject value reaches the link in node, it immediately passes to the debug node which displays the value into the debug console. And there you have it. We have explained how this node red flow works from injecting a value to receiving and debugging it. Now you might be wondering how this could be useful real world application. Node red provides an intuitive and visual way of creating automation tasks, IoT integrations and data processing flows. By connecting various nodes and configuring their behavior, you can create complex workflows without the need for extensive coding. Imagine using node red to monitor sensor data in your smart automate routing task or integrate create different IoT devices together. These possibilities are endless. So if you are looking to simplify your automation and IoT projects, node red could be the perfect tool for you. Feel free to explore further, experiment with different nodes and unleash your creativity. Thank you all for watching today's video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please let us know in the comment below. Until next time, happy coding with Node Red. Bye.